to an order that I'm dreaming on. And always a reminder for myself, Ana Abdukur Aji Sadaifu, Miskeen, Uzalim, Jahal. But for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. And alhamdulillah that we covered lots of binary information <laughs> in the last few weeks. So, alhamdulillah, a lot of. Lot of uh, Smashing on the ego and uh, alhamdulillah, inshaAllah we'll turn to our audience all over the world and mashaAllah this is a sampling from all over the world. And uh, Jamil Nas, this is from the light and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad that transcends all the boundaries and borders that people usually erect that separate themselves from each other. But the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah neutralizes all of those borders and boundaries and people come together for the sign of that love. That's a, a, a sign of that garden in which represents so many different races and nations and peoples and, and, and backgrounds. So alhamdulillah that we… we went over the binary and in this holy month to be nothing and that Allah in our nothingness to grant us to draw near to the Divinely Presence. And it's everything opposite of this material world. And what becomes more and more impossible is to daily remind ourselves when 10,000 times a day shaitan is reminding the opposite be something, show yourself as something and in each gender to be confused about something. As a result people are lost, people are confused, people are cast into difficulty. If the ultimate motive is understood then what's happening in this world its plan begins to unfold. When people can't see the end target then they keep saying, well why? Well why? Why do you think that? Why do you think that? Thinking their questions are clever but when we lose sight of what the target is then we don't understand any of the steps that are happening. And like in life, in every aspect of our life when we have our ending chapter we know exactly… As Salaamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Exactly every step what it means and there is no random. And every step should be drawing us to the final chapter. That's why when we write ourselves that I want to die on belief, I want to die in the sunnah, I want to die with my beard, I want to die with the love of Prophet I want to die under the nazar and the intercession of awliya, that there are awliya alive and those awliya who passed that they will recognize me and that I serve them with my life and with my abilities and, and with my character. When I write all of that and then the detail of that then that's it, that's my target and every step of my life I look at that and before I ask the shaykh a question I can just look at the target and, and I know for, for, for myself, am I drawing near to that? If I am and I want more specifics on how to accomplish it, how to overcome the obstacles then help me at nurmuhammad.com and say, this is the shaykh, this is the shaykh I built a relationship with, this is the shaykh that I support the projects that they're doing, this is the family and the community that I belong to and 
I get clarification, I get my all rights for power, please pray for me, I'm going through a, a difficulty in my testing, just more strength, more nazar, more himma. And then that becomes a life in which it knows where it's going and how to get to its goal. Opposite is that they don't understand what shaitan is planning. If shaitan is planning to destroy humanity, destroy faith and then destroy all sense of value and worth for humanity, that becomes his final chapter because his chapter is known, Allah disclosed his chapter in Qur'an. So you write that and say, well shaitan's final chapter is to destroy me, humiliate me in a bad way that Allah to be humiliated in front of Allah not in front of creation but to be humiliated in front of Allah And then Allah saying, He's your avowed enemy and He only want to destroy you, humiliate you and bring you down. When I write that chapter then I know that my adversary in life, I know the chapter that he's written too. And so then every step of what's unfolding in life I can understand, is it in my goal? Is it helping me in my goal or is it helping me in my adversarial understanding, my arch nemesis shaitan, shaitan related to me? Then people don't have to ask that ridiculous question, well why, why is shaitan doing that? Why, why is shaitan doing that? They think they're clever like that. This is very clear, why he confused everyone to destroy and humiliate them, efface them in front of Allah that you came one way and you ended up in the grave completely different. That you were supposed to achieve your worshipness and you became this, you became that. So it becomes very clear and the why then is taken away and we can sit back and look at humanity and see how shaitan's plan is unfolding. So when you see these people confused and running around and, and the women acting like men and men acting like women, okay well that was a part of what we said, shaitan would destroy you, efface you, humiliate you in front of Allah until you went into the grave in humiliation. So when we understand the role of shaitan and it's very clear then it gives us a hikmah and a wisdom so that we are not uh, blind. People want to say that they're awoke but we don't know what they've woken to and how much they were sleeping that they think their awokenness still doesn't see the role of shaitan. So they maybe can be awoken to something very incorrect. So being truly awakened is through the deen of Islam. And the only religion on, on creation and the only religion that has ever been is the religion of Islam in which everyone is to submit their will to the will of Allah and that every Prophet came with the same message, submit yourself to the will of Allah and just variations in their law, variations in their wash and in their diet. But all was the same in which to submit our will to the will of our Creator and the Divinely Presence. And our struggle in life is that submission, our goal in life is to achieve that submission, inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.